Our WrestleMania week coverage continues. Adrian Hernandez, Odyssey Sports, the Sporting Tribune, here with a woman who's going to be competing. NXT stand and deliver, Zoe Stark. Zoe, how are you doing? I'm amazing. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah. I'm trying to get my wits together, the glitz, the glamour, Hollywood. Yeah. Like, it's a big deal. And actually, yeah. I want to start there. Because on your IG, I think it was about a week ago, you posted about going to the Staples Centers, aka the crypto, and you went there as a fan and you were like, this is what I want to do. Yes. So this is obviously like a full circle moment it to is. you. Yeah. Have you had a moment to kind of let it sink in or is it just a thousand miles and running? Uh, it, it's a thousand miles running. You know, a lot's going on, right? We got some tryouts going on. We got media. Saturday's the big day, right? So tomorrow I'm going to relax, be completely ready for Saturday. And then that, I think that's when I'll let it soak in. But nothing's better than when you walk out and during the entrance. That's where it really hits like, oh shit. Sorry if I, if no, I you can't can. come. Let's do it. This is oh, emotion. Okay, because, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like you get that feeling, you know? That's when I really soak everything in. That point. And it's going to be, it, it really is going to be incredible. And I do have to ask you because, of course, we're here on the West Coast, which means we got to start NXT Stand and Deliver at 10 a.m. And the thing like, so obviously interview a lot of wrestlers, a lot of musicians. And the thing I love to ask is the journey of you're doing shows in the most random of places with five or seven people at the most randomest of times. So how are you going to get yourself prepared to have to be climbing ladders, throwing ladders, getting hit at like, 11 a.m. on a Saturday. On a Saturday, yeah. I need. I'm probably gonna need like five cups of coffee before actually going out there. But I don't think there's. I don't think you can get prepared for a ladder match, can you? Like, in my head, I don't think so. I'm just gonna go out there, out there full throttle and just go. Uh, 10 a.m. is gonna be tough, but the adrenaline is what's gonna get me. Well, you know, when you're in the ring, speaking of adrenaline, like you're not afraid to jump off the top rope. Nope. And I want to ask you about that because for me, I've been in a lot of fights, but there was one in particular where I beat this kid's ass. His name's Spider. If he's watching, please hit subscribe on YouTube. <laughs> and like I came, at, and he wasn't really like in school, right? Okay. So when yeah. I came back from the suspension, it was like a parade. Everyone's like, Adrian, what's up, yeah. bro? You did it. Da, 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 da. So I truly felt like a badass. For you jumping off the top rope, I'm assuming you feel like a badass. Can you like walk me through that experience of how you feel when that's going on? When you, <laughs> when you uh, like jump off of that top rope uh -huh. and you feel the wind in your face coming down, you're like, I'm insane for doing this, but it's great. Like it's one of the best feelings. Like I, when I spring off of a rope and I feel that air rushing into my face and then I hit somebody and I nail them pretty good. Oh, it's great. You just do a little smirk and be like, you're going to feel that in the morning. Oh, yeah, you're going to feel it. And coming in hot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then so NXT, um, obviously, Shawn Michaels is over there, a lot of legends. Yeah. Um, just talk to me about that experience, whether it's Shawn or just being there and being in that environment, which I'm kind of jealous because I went to school in Tampa. Yeah. So when it was FCW, oh, yeah. the building was about two miles away. Now you guys done upgraded and went fancy. Yeah. But talk to me about that experience. I'm a little kid inside of that building. Um, I'm gonna use a word that we don't usually like to throw out there, but I feel like a little, I'm a mark. I love wrestling. <gasps> I'm a huge fan of wrestling. So whenever I enter into that building, I'm a kid. Like, what What a life. I get to work with Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Coach Bloom, Matt Bloom, great guys, Robbie, Norman, I mean, the list goes on. The list goes on and on and on, and I get to work with all these guys, pick their brain, get as much knowledge as possible so that way I can succeed in this world. Like, it, it, it's great. Is there ever any, like, arguments or anything where, like, you don't agree with stuff or, like, I, I want to try it this way, but you're making me do it that way or anything like that? I wouldn't say arguments, no. No, not arguments. Obviously, there's going to be times where it's like, well, I feel like it should be this way, but they're telling me to do this way. I'm going to try, I'm going to do it their way, right? Like Terry Taylor, he has an insane mind for the business. Who am I to tell Terry, like, ah, oh, nah, I'm just going to stick to my way. No, are you kidding me? I'm going to listen to Terry Taylor and do it his way, and let's see if it works. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it works. Right. So, yeah. no, no, no arguments ever. And we're going to close this out. We're about to pose for a picture for the YouTube thumbnail on Instagram. But okay. speaking of Instagram, I'm going to allow you to make the caption so it can be something motivational. It could just be watched NXT stand and deliver on Saturday on Peacock, like whatever you want the caption to be, whatever hashtag, however you want to post it up. What's the caption going to be? 
wouldn't put myself over. Zoe is great. Zoe is great? Yeah. I don't know, man. Simple. Don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What, what do you think? I want to hear your opinion. You tell me. Zoe Stark, the next NXT, NXT. Ch champion. Yeah. Hashtag lit and drip. <laughs> there it is. There I it is. I've never used those words in my life. Lit and drip now. Well, do you know what drip is? Uh, looking fly. This. Right? Like this looking good. That's the boots drip. Everything drip. drip. NXT drip. This interview drip. drip. <laughs> Thank you for the time, Zoe. You know what I just heard? Eight. She ate. And I had no idea okay. what that meant. Well, it's two things. If you take a big bump, not to get nerdy, you ate that. Okay. But when you jump off the top rope and you, you do something super dope, I like how I'm describing a, a phrase with another phrase. <laughs> you do something super cool, like, oh, she's eating right now. Okay, okay. When LeBron has five points in a row, he eating right now. He eating. See? Okay. Okay. Next All WrestleMania, right, let's right. do this again. Zoe, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate your time.